Let's talk about the operating principle of float type carburetors. Float type carburetors operate on the principle that you have a lot of air coming in through the carburetor intake, but it's got to go through this venturi, this narrow passageway in the carburetor. As the air goes through that narrow passageway, it speeds up. And as the air speeds up, the pressure of the air drops. As the pressure of the air drops, it pulls the fuel out from the float area in the carburetor. So the operating principle of a float type carburetor like this is based on an air pressure difference. A difference in the air pressure between the venturi throat and the air inlet on the carburetor. Now, carburetors are susceptible to icing conditions. When the air goes through the carburetor like that, it has a considerable temperature drop because of the fact that it accelerates and it expands. You can get a temperature drop of as much as 50 degrees Fahrenheit as the air moves through the carburetor. So the conditions that are favorable to the formation of carburetor icing are a temperature of between 20 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit and high humidity. You can get carb ice with temperatures as high as 70 degrees Fahrenheit as long as you've got high humidity. Because of the fact that the air has a very big temperature drop as it goes through the carburetor. Now as the air goes through the carburetor, if carburetor ice is going to form, it's going to form basically right around the venturi throat in the carburetor. And it's also going to form on the throttle valve. The first indication that you're likely to have of carburetor ice in an aircraft that has a fixed pitch propeller is going to be loss of engine RPM because it's the same idea as if you've closed the throttle, pulled the throttle back. Because if you've got ice in here that is blocking the flow of air through the carburetor, you're going to have a loss of engine RPM in an aircraft that has a fixed pitch propeller. Now, if you think that you might have carburetor ice, what you want to do is apply carburetor heat. What's going to happen when you do that, if you do have ice, is first of all, you're going to have a decrease in RPM. The decrease in RPM comes because the carburetor heats on and you've got hotter air going into the carburetor. And that's going to give you decreased engine performance in an aircraft with a fixed pitch propeller. So you get a decrease in RPM just because you put on carburetor heat. But then if you had ice in the carburetor, you're going to get a gradual increase in RPM as the ice melts away. You do need to remember that applying that carburetor heat will cause decreased engine performance, and it will also cause a richer fuel-air mixture. And that's why we don't use carburetor heat all the time. A float type carburetor system like this is considered to be more susceptible to icing than a fuel injection system where the fuel is injected basically directly into the cylinder without going through a carburetor. So you do get more icing problems with a float type carburetor than you do with a fuel injection system.